Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed from Javida Clinics. In this talk, we'll be talking about and discussing uh, PRP, so platelet-rich plasma. Uh, there are other videos where we talk a little bit about, you know, how effective PRP can be, how we use the PRP, what the process is, and how we inject the plasma into people's scalp and what have you. Uh, in this talk, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about actually what plasma is and what platelets are. So uh, if we think of blood, there's three main parts. Uh, we've got red blood cells, we've got white blood cells, and we have blood plasma. So what we do with PRP is we, put, we take your blood, we put the blood into a centrifuge, and that actually splits the blood up into its different levels because all of these different parts of your blood have sort of different densities. So if you spin the blood, it then splits it up into its different parts. So you've got your red blood cells, which normally sits at the bottom, uh, which is because it's denser. You've got your white blood cells, and then you have your blood plasma. So blood plasma constitutes around 55% of blood. Uh, it varies from person to person, but it essentially it's around about half of your blood. And within that plasma, it has lots and lots of platelets. So platelets, historically in medicine, we've always thought of platelets as being the key component that helps blood to clot. So if you cut yourself and you bleed, basically it, um, those platelets will help um, basically for the blood to stop flowing, essentially. Um, and then in about the 1970s, so about half a century ago, we actually came to realize that platelets actually have a bit more of a function, that they do other things other than just being involved in what we call homeostasis, which is where, we, where the blood essentially stops um, clots and stops bleeding. So what we came to realize was that actually plasmas are very rich in what we call growth factors, of which there are so many different types, but essentially there are a lot of these growth factors found within platelets and also something called cytokines, which is a type of protein. And essentially these cytokines, these growth factors play a part in sort of cell proliferation and um, the maturing of cells and things like that. So anywhere where you need growth and repair to occur, these cytokines, these, uh, these growth factors that are within the platelets uh, can be very very useful. So um, so those that plasma um, is rich in those products which basically helps growth and repair wherever it is needed. So it's not just used for hair and trying to thicken pre-existing hair. There are some other uses um, outside of aesthetics, outside of um, hair, um, in other parts of the body, in other medical disciplines it's also used for other purposes as well.